The next exercise we're going to be doing is a sidestep block jump, adding on to the first, the first block jump. Okay? Here, everything is always, again, uh, athletic stance, good base. You never want to stand with our feet close together because our balance is off. It raises your center of gravity. You always want to have a lower center of gravity so we have better balance and we can move quicker. So here you're going to see Eric take a sidestep, gather, go up, block jump, and now he'll be making different moves whether he wants to block line, or he's going to jump into the seam, and you'll see that here. When you're doing your sidestep block, Keep in mind that you're doing it nice and controlled and then the biggest part is being balanced, submerging and then exploding up. And then when you're up at top, you're doing a couple things. One is you're focusing on doing a one good line block. The other one is now I'm going to try to jump into the angle and block the angle hit. But visualize, you're not just kind of doing, you know, getting your hands there. Visualize you're actually getting it so if it does come in your direction, you penetrate the net and block the ball. So let's let's keep in mind. We go down. Everything's solid. Your body's solid. Then you go over. Stay balanced. Submerge. Keep on doing it the same way. And then as you're blocking angle, keep your left arm strong and then you can kind of jump in at the last movement. And it's explosive movement. You set it up though. This is the way you set it up. I line, 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 and then all of a sudden, the last minute, I jump in and I stuff you angle. All right? On the sidestep block jumps, it's more for Eric's body balance and his core too. Uh, we're going side to side, and, and again, fast switch muscle fibers, being explosive and being the, you know, the quickest off the ground uh, for Eric. So when I'm doing those, and you really got to, it's balance. As a blocker, I focus in on getting to my spot and then making one good solid move. And as you're in the water though, the resistance of the water will start pushing you and you really got to fight. So it kind of very, very good on your core and then as soon as you gather yourself, making one strong move. 